Welcome back everyone to my IDC 42 run. This is Sisra number 5, where I'm up against Live for Life, the top of your screen who is playing Lightfire Nature Agro, a deck which I haven't seen in quite a while ever since Pablo played his in uh, IDC 12 or something. And I'm at the bottom of your screen playing Live Water Dark, Hydro Hurricane with Giga Salt. He's gonna win the die roll and he's just gonna spam my shields with Pyrofighter Magnus, which in the long run I don't think is gonna be a great idea because he's losing tempo by by returning Pyrofighter to his hand over and over. But uh, now he has the Petrova who which is going to boost the ballast to 6000 power, however my Laura Giga is also 6000 power which is why he refrains from attacking with it. I am surprised he charged both, both of his Holios, I would, have, I would think he would want to use them and I'm also surprised he didn't just play the Brazen Triumphs, I don't know why he would possibly think that it's better to charge it instead of putting more creatures on the field. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, this turn I think I'm, I might just play Hydro Hurricane and give him 3 cards from his mana zone. I mean actually 4 cards and set him down to 2 cards in the mana. But uh, for some reason I I end up playing Palaolysis. I think I changed my mind because... Or maybe not. Because I, I am a bit afraid of Holy O and I don't want to be on no shields. It's also why I give him the Bronzen Tribes instead of the Holy Oz because he's gonna play the Bronzen Tribe, which is also gonna give me a draw with Mysterious. And I think I'm even gonna play Miraculous Plague. I don't mind too much that he's ramping back with Bronzen Tribe because I am bound to to draw another Miraculous Plague or, or a Hydro Hurricane with so many draws with Mysterious. So it's gonna take one Brosen Tribe and one Balas. And uh, Live for Life is laughing because I'm playing Hydra with Blake, but hey, if it works, it works. It's really good synergy with uh, Gigazalt, and it's good for adding more water sources as well as darkness sources because you wanna. In a. Uh, in this version with Gigasal, you want to have more darkness because you you want to have darkness mana for your Chimera Bait and you also want to have the Chimera Bait and the Gigasal, so you don't want to have to charge the evolution just to summon the Gigabalsa on its own. And uh, it looks like uh, Live for Life forgot to pass the turn, so... Uh, this turn I'm probably just gonna summon Palaolysis and Petrova, boosting Chimeras. Okay, so I decided to boost Guardians, which makes sense. Uh, 
it's gonna play double double ballast there and this turn I'm, I might have to actually use Miraculous Snare on two of his creatures in case he has Holy Hope. Or maybe I'll just use a Terror Pit. Okay, so I end up playing Bellix, hoping to draw into, into Hydro Hurricane. I'm not sure why I don't just use Miraculous Snare. Because now if he had a copy of Holio, he could use it and go for game. But maybe I bank on the fact that two of his Holios are in the mana zone and he's unlikely to play more or unlikely to see more of them. So my my guardians, uh, my Laura gear is 12k, and his Kizar Basik is 12.5k. So I have to block with Bellix there. Might just have to use a Terror Pit on it, or play more creatures and hope to draw into Hydro Hurricane. But I'm just gonna use Terror Pit and Miraculous Snare to get rid of the both of the creatures. That Hurlosaur is a very interesting choice, probably because uh, he plays a lot of 1000 power creatures himself, like Grunzon Tribe, so he doesn't wanna kill his own stuff with Magma Rex. But I still think I would play the Magma Rex because it's only your Bronzen tribe that dies from it. Because you can choose to boost Quixotic's power first. Probably just gonna charge the clamp and play some more creatures, hoping to draw into Hydro Hurricane. Unfortunately that didn't happen, but at least I I get a Gigazult which I can use to start uh, putting his shields into the graveyard which I set with Miraculous Snare earlier. So that's gonna be the Bronzon tribe in the Balas or Balas. Still don't see any Hydro Hurricane, so I'm pr I might just have to play that Miraculous Plague instead. So uh, at this point I'm gonna stop drawing cards because I have six, six cards left in the deck. And he's just gonna say GG because I will likely finish him off in two or three turns and I even top the Hydro Hurricane there. Now he's gonna be on the play again having the Quixotic on turn two. I will respond with a Laura Giga 
And I really hope to draw a spell like Miraculous Snare, but he doesn't attack because he fears Miraculous Snare as well. Now just gonna support the Laura Gia with a Palulisis. The next turn I can play Gia Balza. Hopefully I don't snipe some Arche de la Serna or something. And I take out a Searing Wave which is not bad. However he still had the Windex for the for the Paleolis is there. Now this turn I'm probably gonna evolve the Giga Balza into Gigasal to destroy the Magris. But I think I'm gonna make a misplay now because in my mind I'm thinking that he might be holding on to Petrova waiting to boost his beast folks and I read it incorrectly he was holding it onto an arc instead of a Petrova so yeah this mistake will probably cost me the game now He tried to kill the Gigasaur with the Ark and it's just gonna go in with a Quixotic. I do have a Miraculous Snare here. So I can use the Miraculous Snare on the Archie de la Serna and also play an energy stream so that the Gigabars I can trade with a Quixotic. But then he still has two creatures to go for games, so I will need to have a Terror Pit or a Spiral Gate in the final shield. And I didn't even leave a Water Mana on tap because initially I wanted to play the Palolysis, but then I realized I wouldn't be able to run over Quixotic with Giga Balsa. Uh, so I kinda have to do this. And he top decks a power fighter, so even if I did have a terror pit, he would have still had this game. So could have potentially won 2 0 if I didn't try to guess what he could possibly have in hand and be wrong about it. I'm gonna go for a Gigapalza and snipe Magris. Let's see if he has yeah, he does have the searing wave to clear my field. But uh, now I'm Probably gonna run out Mistrias. Not sure why I'm thinking about charging. Okay, so I go for Miraculous Snare and Bellix the Explorer. So the Snare is gonna get rid of the Gonta and Bellix is gonna stand in the way of Bronzen Tribe. It's gonna gonna have uh, soul sub for twin cannon sky terror and I, at this point I can play Petrova to boost the Bellix to 7000 power which is just enough to trade with a twin cannon uh, next turn I can go for a mystery ass into Laura Giga I 
and the next turn I can play the Petrova to boost uh, Mistrias as well. And luckily for me, he he bricked on an evolution creature, which means I can just play the Petrova to boost uh, Mistrias to be above Searing Wave range. And the It looks like this game is going to be mine at this point. Uh, here I'm thinking if I want to play Miraculous Plague or not. I think I'm going to give him uh, the Hurlosaur and one of the evolution creatures and it's gonna put the evolution in the grave because he needs the fire mana I'm even thinking about going for shields at this point I could also just wait a bit before I do that And I decide to wait a bit, try to play it safe, and at this point I'm just gonna charge one of the Miraculous Snares, play the blockers and use the snare on Balas. Next turn I can go for Gigasalt, start to put his shield into the graveyard. Just gonna play his own Petrova boosting initiates and I don't really have a way to get rid of that Petrova. So I might just have to I just have to go in for shields now, get rid of any potential holios. Okay, and uh, I didn't realize he had another card in hand, so... The last card in hand was probably a Arche de la Serna, and I got lucky because I broke the, pala the bal balas out of shields and also discarded the balas. So I'm just gonna keep waiting until I get a hy Hydro Hurricane, which I finally do. So now I can play this Giga Slag and Laura Giga Play the Hydro Hurricane, bounce everything. And now I'm just gonna go in for shields, don't need to wait anymore. And I do break into a holy other. I don't know if he has any more Julio is in the shields, but uh, I'm definitely killing that Petrova just in case. Probably just gonna summon double mystery as just to have more attackers. Kill the Petrova and go in for shields. And yeah, that's game three. Gonna win this match 2-1, could have potentially won 2-1 if I didn't 
overthink about what he could potentially have in his hand and just kill the Magris with the Gigasalt. But uh, yeah, my deck should be on the screen for those of you who are interested. And until next time, see ya.